Hello, welcome to Programming Rush. In this video, we will learn how to multiply two matrices using function. So first of all, we will declare the variable in 10. This is for the size of matrix and we will multiply to square matrices. So let us print that. Enter the size of matrix. Now scanner. Oh, I'm sorry. And now we will declare the matrices. So int m1 the first matrix and then the m2 second matrix uh, and then the rest matrix. This will be the result. We will need it later. But for now, let us declare the matrices input matrix function. If we will do it using pointers, we will just pass the matrix and it will be directly pointer. So no need to worry for that. Now I am just declaring the matrix. First of all, declare the variable in temp. In order to get the size directly, we need to use the ask the variable in front first and then the matrix. Otherwise, this function gives an error. Okay, so now for as you know, we need two for loops for a matrix. We will ask for the which row, so enter the uh, Elements of row percentage B uh, oblique and because we don't need uh, to enter after that, we will ask it separately. So it will be I plus 1. Yeah. Now we will declare another for loops. It will be size of again N because we are asking for a square matrix and you will tell to enter the uh, jth element. Uh, it will be j plus 1 and scan f percentage scan f percentage d comma uh, it will be end i m i j okay so we declared the input matrix I have done this in order to not make the main function bigger. You can do it here only, but you have to declare the function this thing two times in order to get the two variables. And if you use the matrix the function, we will do it at once only. So we will let us do it two times for the two matrix, and we have reduced the code size much if you can see that. So we have got the matrices here and let us declare the multiply function. So let us name it multi no full not no matrix. Let us ask for the int again first m1. I am naming it same, you can name it anything if you want. Or uh, follow the convention I'm following in order to follow the tutorial. And then the result function. I am naming it same because to improve the readability. I need to declare the three for loops and I will let you know that why I need the three why I need the three functions the uh, three for loops. It is for a special reason that if you know the formula of uh, multiplication of matrix, we proceed by multiplying the first row and the first column of first matrix and second matrix respectively and now for multiplying the elements and proceeding we need to get the add up the elements as you know we need to add up the elements and the column increases but the row is fixed for the first so you know the formula 
I guess you know the formula. If you don't know, please see it. It is not very difficult. I need to put here k because it will not proceed as follows. And now I am using here. Here it will be k, and here it will be j. Okay. I think I have made it clear. All right. We will see that it is functioning right or not. Let us call the mult. It takes a lots of values, so put it carefully. Maintain the order that m1, m2, m1 multiplied by m2. Both are not same. I think you have done it correctly. But before that, use this. Declare the function. Uh, declare the first variable as zero because I have sometimes detected that it gives me unusual numbers, and don't expect that numbers, but it gives. So let us go to the C programming folder I have created there. Sorry. And now uh, I will call the multiply matrix. It is asking for the size of matrix. Let us first try with the size of one. So I am giving here two. I am giving here two. Oh, I have not called the multiply matrix function. So let us call a uh, print demo function that loop. Now let us do it in the main function only because we don't need to do it in separate function. But if you want to do it separate function, you can obviously do this. It is very easy. I know you can do it. You can call the functions for taking input. You can call the function for printing. I guess. Now let us do it again. So we are getting here four. Let us try for the bigger value. So two, if one, for the row one, one, two, two, one, two, three, four. So here we are getting uh, something unusual value 420605. So I have, as I have said, it sometimes gives wrong values. I don't know why. Maybe it will be the error of compiler. But let us fix that. First of all, let us comment this out. Compile it again. Uh, I am again using the. So it is always giving the third column as such a big number. So maybe we need to do something in order to prevent that. So let us call this function here only. I don't want to call it here. Let us comment this out. Maybe it work. And now try that. And the size of matrix, uh, I say two. One, one, two, two, one, two, three, four. So uh, it is not the error of matrix, but it may be the error of compiler itself. So let us so to solve this problem of giving an unknown value. I have initialized each and the first element of each row to be zero. I've initialized at the first time, and it won't affect the result. If you can see that, if I now call the matrix and now do it like this, let's say one, so two, two, and it gives four. Now again, I am trying with the size of two, one, one. Our previous example. So it gives us the 8, 6, 4, 12 result. If the result is wrong, please comment. But I know that the result is correct. I've calculated it. And if you like the video, please like it, subscribe the channel, and see you in the next video.